Patrolling the dry lands of the Mesa, a predator lurks, the Pernarex. The Mesa, a dry and rocky landscape, home to a surprising variety of creatures. It is a formidable environment for most small creatures, as many dangerous beings live in and pass through this hostile territory every day. The creature we'll be looking at today is far from the largest predator. The Pernarex is a small pack hunter native to the Mesa regions. It is armed with sharp defensive spines and serrated teeth, specifically designed to prolong the bleeding of their prey. This comes into use if the prey manages to escape, as they can track it down through the blood trail it leaves behind. Pernarex are blind and have an extremely strong sense of smell. They also have a forked tongue, using it to taste the air for scent. Their keen senses are vital in helping them hunt. The Pernarex stands at 2.4 meters tall and weighs 700 kilograms. Another weapon these carnivores are equipped with are sharp sickle claws on each foot. These weapons are used by the Pernarex to hook onto their prey and can be incredibly dangerous when used against smaller creatures. Despite being small, these creatures certainly pack a punch. This Pernarex is tending to a nest when suddenly she senses a disturbance in the area. This Geogoth has wandered into a domain. The Geogoth is a large burrowing omnivore that doesn't have any intention of hurting the Pernarex. It is simply searching for a place to make a burrow. Regardless of its intent, it has wandered far too close for the comfort of the Pernarex. The pair surround the Geogoth vocalizing aggressively and nipping at it, trying to get him to leave. Despite being quite docile, the Jugoff is equipped with large digging claws that could easily kill a Pernarex if an attempt was made. The pair frantically run around the threat, trying to startle it. The Jugoff, however, seems more annoyed than scared. Having put up with this for too long, the Jugoff slowly trots off, wandering away from the nest site and into the desert. The Pernarex Filled with pride, walk back to the mother and her eggs. This pack of Pernarex has four members, a mixture of males and females. Males are easily spotted due to the bright colours that appear on their tails and shoulders. These are used in courting displays during the mating season. The Pernarex have just returned from a successful hunt. Suddenly, the female senses something moving in a nest. Her eggs are hatching. The other Pernarex wake curiously as three babies are born. Two of them similar in colour to their mother, but the third is white. This young Pernarex has albinism. This is a rare mutation that occurs, causing the albino individual to lack pigment in their skin, fur and eyes. In the case of the Pernarex, it has no eyes, so it simply appears white. Here we see a male Pernarex readying himself to attack his prey. The Pernarex has a hooked claw on each foot, which is used to kill smaller animals. He waits for the perfect opportunity and attacks. The puff wump stood no chance and gets completely obliterated within seconds. The male picks up his kill and happily returns to the nest, seeming proud of this achievement. The baby is digging quick, apart from one, the albino. It seems to be trying to eat with its siblings, but the others devour it before he can even get a bite, leaving the young albino hungry. Months later, a young Gorgonicus is wandering aimlessly in the Mesa. When growing, this horrible bird would be a predator to the Pernarex. The Pernarex mother is teaching her young to hunt. They must hide out of sight of their prey, as they are often much smaller than them. When the Pernarex mother senses that it is time to close in, she moves herself and her children into the grass where they can't be easily seen. The Gorgonicus is distracted making it easier for the pack to sneak up on her. When in the grass, she signals to her children to inch forward, but the albino goes too far. It darts out of their hiding place, revealing them to the Gorgonicus. The overgrown turkey sees the white creature, and the Pernarex know that their cover is blown. A wild chase ensues, with the turkey narrowly escaping. It taunts them from a higher ground, leaving the Pernarex hungry and frustrated. Angry at the runt for ruining their hunt, the family return to the albino to give him a piece of their mind. The albino accepts his punishment. This albino feels like a complete failure. He's only ever been a hindrance to his pack and wonders if he'll ever find purpose in life. On the other side of the mesa, a threat lurks. 
A pair of Toralistras. These are two males, hoping to expand their territory. Toralistras are ruthless brutes and will often bully smaller creatures for fun. They can also be seen smashing bus stop windows and shouting at old ladies. The pair has found a perfect territory to inhabit, but this place has already been taken by the Pernarex. The two adult Toralistras march through the dry lands, searching for the inhabitants. These mean predators can smell the Pernarex from miles away. They approach the den. Initially, there is chaos amongst the pack. The predator pair are far too dangerous to fight, and the pack reacts in panic, letting out alarm calls towards each other. After the initial panic is over, the Pernarex stand at the front of their den, ready to defend their young. Hiding behind a wall, the albino looks on. He knows he's weaker than the pack and moves further back into the cave, but has a moment of realization. Will he remain a coward for the rest of his life, or will he stand up and protect his family? In this moment, the albino's true destiny is revealed to him. The albino darts to the front of the pack, snarling at the danger right in front of him. The Toralistras are confused by this, but ultimately don't care. They wound him, and proceed to wreak havoc on the Pernarex den. After the bloodbath, the Toralistras enjoy their life in the Mesa and reminisce about all the times they've murdered small creatures. Miles from its home, the albino wanders the tundra. Having now grown up and being forced to fend for himself, he's found it quite easy to hunt, thanks to his lack of pigment matching the environment. He waits for the right moment and attacks the purple Cryptic. It seems that his condition has certain advantages in the tundra. Unfortunately for him, winter is now here. The albino Pernarex unceremoniously dies, surrounded by no one, miles from his home. He is promptly eaten.